Hi there, it's Lee here for iMind Blocks. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be talking about the up and coming Ethereum hard fork. So, this has been on a few people's minds. I've had a few messages, and people have uh, messaged me and sort of asked, you know, what, what are the ramification, ramifications of this um, upcoming hard fork? How would it affect me? What do I need to do? Um, are my Ethereum coins at risk? And a few other sort of uh, questions like that. So, I thought I'd just um, create a video. Um, just to explain uh, exactly what's going to happen uh, in this process and um, how it affects you and what, what you need to do. So the up and coming hard fork is happening on block 2,463,000 and that is approximately 72 hours from now, three days time. So what's actually going to happen on, on that particular block is the Ethereum network is going to be hard fault and um, all the nodes or the nodes that want to participate which is, will be the majority of them no doubt uh, will move over to the new software and the, the network will be fault and effectively updated. It's causing a lot of uh, concern for some people uh, because people don't really understand what is meant by a hard fork so I'll just briefly explain exactly what happens. A hard fork happens when the blockchain needs to be updated or changed in a significant uh, kind of way. Now with a normal software update, the software would be released and the people that want to participate in the update would update and their individual system would be updated and then they can interact with the rest of the, you know, the components and get the new features and new benefits or the bug fix, whatever would need to be uh, happening. With blockchain technology, what needs to happen is the majority of people need to update at the same time um, to basically all benefit from the actual the effects of that particular update. What would happen is if they don't all update at the same time on the same sort of um, sequence of blocks, there will be uh, a situation where some nodes are running the old software and some running the new software. And what will happen is the, the network won't reach consensus. So you'll have a, a situation where there's multiple forks, um, conflict, confusion, and things like that. So when people refer to uh, a hard fork, what basically needs to happen is the update is kind of uh, prepped and ready to go. Then on a specific uh, block number, all the actual nodes that want to participate in the update, they all kind of um, you know, run the update at the same time between them. And then what that effectively does is it actually hard forks the actual blockchain network to like a new line um, effectively. And um, if all of those nodes are, uh, are in agreement, then basically that changes without very much uh, difficulty at all. It's more like a, you know, it is like a hard break. Um, so that's how the actual hard fork works. Basically all the nodes need to be updated um, at the same time to, to get the end result. So this hard fork, it is just an update. It's a lot different to the uh, DAO situation, specifically um, targeting uh, a, a specific range of transactions to actually undo those transactions. Uh, with this hard fork, it's, it's an update to uh, help protect the network against the attacks that have been recently ha happening. So this update, or hard fork, is um, not changing very much. What it's actually doing is changing the gas price of some operations within the actual the Ethereum uh, protocol itself. So previously these uh, operations were deemed to be uh, useful and they was priced at a certain level. Uh, but what the hackers have found out is that they can actually use these uh, operations to cause serious delays and, um, and problems on the network. Um, but for them it's not really costing them very much money. So this update is going to actually um, rule that situation out. Okay, so what does this mean for the actual guy at home? Maybe you've got a little Ethereum stash or maybe you're a, a miner. Um, if you're a poor miner, you really don't need to do very much at all. Uh, what will actually happen is uh, the pool that you're actually mining on, they will update their actual Ethereum node software. And because you're kind of mining um, to that same node by, by extension, um, that update will happen automatically. So if you're a miner, you don't need to make, uh, a pool miner that is, you don't need to make any changes at all. Uh, if you're a solo miner, you're probably not going to be watching this video and uh, you guys will already know that you need to update your uh, Ethereum software already and most likely you already have. So pool miners, you don't need to do anything at all. Um, if you've got a Ethereum wallet, 
and you've got some coins in there you want to obviously keep those uh, protected. Um, you don't really need to worry about losing them or anything like that, that's not going to happen um, with this update, you're not um, at risk of losing your coins, um, but there is one thing I'll, I'll come on to in just a moment. So if you want to keep on using the features and the benefits of the Ethereum network, uh, what you want to do is actually update your Ethereum wallet, um, ideally ahead of the actual um, the, the forking sort of date. Um, or you can just leave it closed and update afterwards. Um, your actual Ethereum wallet coins are going to be perfectly safe. There's not going to be um, any issues with them at all. So yeah, uh, I would recommend that you update your wallet now. Um, but if you don't, it's not going to really make very much uh, difference to you. Uh, one thing I will say is during the actual um, hard fork um, on the actual block that it's happening at, which is uh, two million four hundred and sixty-three thousand, on that particular block. Whilst this um, hard fork is actually happening, there is going to be a little bit of conflict on the network. So some nodes are going to be sort of um, already updated to the actual correct Ethereum software, and some nodes are going to be sort of changing over, and um, there's going to be a little bit of conflict going on um, just while that change is actually happening. So while that change is happening, it would be advisable not to send any transactions of any sort of um, significant amount. So just prior to the actual hard fork and just after it, if you want to keep your coins super safe, don't send any transactions, um, you know, just probably for a couple of hours either way and that will give you plenty of clearance and um, prevent any problems for you. So that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found this uh, information uh, interesting and informative and uh, hopefully it's put your mind at ease with regards to the upcoming Ethereum hard fork. Um, in general, it's just another update. It doesn't really mean that much to the vast majority of users. Um, I think in the future we'll, we'll see more hard forks and more updates. Um, for me personally, they don't really give me that much uh, great concern. Like I say, it is a lot different situation to the DAO situation where that was more kind of a, a rollback and reversal kind of situation. Um, I don't agree with that so much, but in the case of the DAO, it's kind of um, exceptional circumstances, I would say. So these other hard forks, um, there's been plenty in the past, um, no, no doubt we'll see others in the future, um, just as the code is sort of um, updated as we move forward. So that's it for this video, hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching, uh, any questions or comments, as always put those in the comments box below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. If you like this video, please give it a like, you know, and uh, also consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, I upload lots of videos like this and you'll see plenty more in the future. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.